Today I was going through some junk and I discovered I had this cute little battery. It's six volts, meaning it has three cells. As you can kind of, you can't see on this side, but as you can see on this side, there's two lines that go down it, and that is where each of the cells are sectioned off on the inside. So the, the acid can't touch the other cells. And so it's six volts and four amp hours. Let's have some fun with it, trying to revive it, okay? Oh, and here's the four amp hour battery right next to its nine amp hour cousin. It, uh, I really like, I really like these batteries because they're nice and compact and they have the cables coming out of them. I don't know, they're just, they just look really cool. And they're really nice colors too, right? red and blue. All I need to get next is purple, yellow, and green, and then I'll be happy. So like the bigger Firewheels batteries, this is a sealed lead acid battery and it has, it probably has caps inside of it underneath this, this big, bigger cap. Uh, it probably has some of these little rubber seals that keep the uh, air in, in, but yet allow it to vent whenever it's under a lot of pressure. So, let's try to crack it open, shall we? Bit rusty in there, but you can see there's the three caps. And <laughs> are they cute little things? Oh, crap, I lost it somewhere. I'll find it later. But yeah, cute little ones about half the width of the other ones. If you guys have seen my video DIY restoring sealed lead acid batteries, happens to be, it happens to be my most popular video, you know the process that I'll use to, to refurbish this battery. I will take the caps off and I'll put water into the caps and that will mix with the, I, or actually that, that will fill the cells and as I charge it, the sulfide or lead sulfate that's on the plates will Remerge or whatever uh, bond with the water, and you'll get sulfuric acid, so it'll turn to the electrolyte. I'm pretty sure all of these cells are empty. Oh, yeah. They're bone dry. Well, as far as I can tell. <laughs> I don't profess to be able to see very far in there. I'm going to have to figure out a different way to get the water in there because the hole is so small that the surface tension of the water keeps the bubble of water in the mouth of it and it won't go in there. I have done this before by submerging the battery into a bucket and swinging the bucket around and they use the centrifugal force to push it down in there. Basically what I want to do is exchange the air inside of these cells with water. And I have a plan. I'll try to use a vacuum. I will pinch the this jar off of this security lamp thingy and I will use it as a vacuum canister but also a vacuum canister that we can see what's going on inside. I have the battery inside of here and then I will mix some hot water and I'll I, I'll take some I'll, I'll, I'll get some hot water and I'll mix some Epsom, Epsom salt into it because I'm going to test to see how Epsom salt will help will help the batteries this time. Anyway, I'll fill up, fill it up to where the water water with the Epsom salt is up to about here. And then I will put this cap on here. And I will hook this vacuum pump to it. Like like that kind of. And I'll pump out the air. So what will happen is, as I pump the air out, the pressure inside of here will decrease, meaning that the air that's inside of the cells will expand, and it'll, it'll leave, and it'll bubble up. Well, then whenever I, put, uh, whenever I let the air equalize, and I let the, air, the ambient air pressure of 14 psi of the atmospheric pressure go back in, it will make the air, bubble, uh, the, the air inside of the battery cells shrink. And, it'll, and so some of the water will have to go in to fill the place of how much the air shrunk. And so now... It, it will have exchanged some of the air with the water. And I'll just keep repeating that process of sucking air out, letting air in, sucking air out, letting air in, and that'll slowly get more water in here. Kind of like how this works, where you uh, 
push air out and you suck air in and it pulls the water up and down. First we must prepare the water. This water is at 107 degrees F, 41.8 degrees Celsius. I hope I put enough water in there. Hope I didn't put too much water in there. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Hey, it's working. Now releasing the air. Stupid cable keeps bugging me. But I notice as I'm sucking the air out, there's more um, condensation on the inside, so that's interesting. I'll just set you guys to time lapse. Well, I believe that's all the battery can hold right now. So there it is. It's fully, well, not fully charged, but it has, it's fully refilled. Now everything's all hooked up. I have the battery charger from 1918 or whatever hooked into the battery, and I have the voltmeter hooked into the battery so we can see the voltage being pushed up. So let's go. Oh hey, look at this. Now that I brought the voltage up with the DC power supply, the automatic charger is picking it up. Unfortunately, whenever this battery reached 5.5 volts, this charger started thinking it was a 12 volt battery and started trying to uh, charge it to 12 volts and it was starting to tear it up and smoke was coming out. Well, so how to work around that is you just get another 6 volt battery and you make it into a, you wire it into a 12 volt battery and so it will charge it as a 12 volt battery. It should work. I've done it before. Because this thing can be kind of finicky sometimes. Well, it's going along quite nicely. The pair is already at 45%. And that is... Gotta wait for it. Hmm. Exactly 12 volts. Oh, 11.9. It's going down a bit. And now that I've added these little quick connectors, I can use it for my little, like, my miner's headlamp and stuff like that. Which, is com which comes in quite handy. I wonder what kind of uses I can use this for, because this is a really, really nice, small, like, miniature lead acid battery. Oh, and I almost forgot about these. And finally, the cap. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you really want to, that'd be awesome if you subscribed. See ya!